Here comes your new craft obsession. Let's craft! So I'm gonna go ahead and go to elements here and I'm just gonna type in my favorite animal which is a panda. I like this little guy, super cute and with this one you can even edit the color so if you don't want the pink to be as bright you can change the color. So for example you can click on that, scroll down, this is a lighter pink, you could do that. But I actually like the dark pink. Click share, download. We're gonna download it as a PNG with a transparent background. So click on transparent background and click download. We're gonna head on over to Cricut Design Space and we're gonna go over to upload, upload image, and we're just gonna upload all of those images. I found the dog one, I'm gonna click continue. And once again, the thing I love about Canva is they already did the work for us. This is already a transparent background. So we're just gonna continue by clicking apply and continue. Then we're gonna click on flat graphic because this is a print then cut project. And then we're gonna click upload and boom, there it is in Cricut Design Space. Now this is a little too big for a sticker. Nobody, I mean, four inches wide and five inches long, that's a pretty big sticker. So we're going to minimize this down to about two inches, okay? And I think that's a good size for a sticker. Let's go ahead and upload our next couple of images that we created in Canva. The next thing we need to do for these stickers is create an offset. Why do we have to create an offset? Because as you can see, especially with this boss one, there's all these nooks and crannies and ridges and valleys and your Cricut is going to try to cut every single part of that and it can just be super annoying and it's not gonna cause for a smooth cut. So what do we do? We add an offset. So I like to drag mine down a little bit Click on offset and then we're going to adjust the size to 0 0.125, okay? And then that's gonna add the offset there. The offset automatically goes on as black. I like to change the offset to white. And then we're gonna highlight the whole thing and click on flatten. That way the offset and the sticker can move together as one. Now, how do we go about creating a sticker here in Design Space? Um, for those who don't have Canva, who don't like Canva, you can still use Design Space and make awesome stickers. And I'm gonna show you how. Head over to Images in Design Space. And like they said, you can type in a dog wearing sunglasses. So let's do that. A dog wearing sunglasses, okay? And boom, look at all these cute images of a dog wearing sunglasses. Oh my gosh, look how cute this one is. So let's go ahead and click on that one and then we're gonna click to add to canvas. And there's our cute little doggy wearing sunglasses. We're gonna adjust the size again to two inches. Now, as you can see, this is something that you can cut, okay? And up here in under operation, it says basic cut. What we wanna do is change this to a print then cut. That way the Cricut knows that we're not cutting this on vinyl, this on sticker paper, and we're printing it first through our inkjet printer. So let's do the same thing as well by giving this cute little corgi an offset. So we're gonna click on them, offset, and we're gonna change the offset to 0 0.125 like we did with the others. Click apply and then we're gonna do a white offset. Highlight and flatten. And that's it everybody, those are our stickers. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And then we're gonna click on send to printer. So I'm using my Epson ET 2800 series inkjet printer. On to use system dialog. Okay, and then we're going to click on print. And what that is going to do is bring up our print box here. And then you wanna make sure that your media and quality um, is set to photo glossy paper, which will turn the quality up to the best possible print. And then we are going to click on print. For this project, you're gonna need some holographic laminate paper. I got this from Amazon. It was like a pack of like 50 for 10 bucks. It's super cheap on Amazon. And you're also gonna need scissors and a scraper. What I do is I pull back the 
sticker backer and cut a little corner, place it and angle it on the sheet that was printed. And then I use my scraper to push it down. Make sure you use that scraper or an old gift card so that you don't have any air bubbles. This is gonna make for a seamless sticker. Place it on your light grip Cricut mat. And then in Cricut Design Space, we're gonna use a heavy card stock with more pressure. This is it inside the machine. I always cut twice with these and you wanna lift it at the corner to make sure it cut through once it's done cutting. Next, grab your spatula and then pull the sticker paper off. When you cut twice, it should come off seamlessly and then use the spatula to pick the sticker up off of the mat. This ensures that your sticker is not curly. No one likes a curly sticker. And that's it, everybody. These are super cute and so easy to make. You can even use commercialized characters. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that notification bell and subscribe. Bye.